Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how are you doing? Right, it's Monday and I'm psyched. Why am I psyched? Well, it's two weeks now to the 500th episode of WhatMap and I have penciled in the maps we'll be reviewing over the next two weeks and I'm going to tell you now, they look very interesting indeed. Some of them look like they're going to be absolute stonkers. Now, uh, if you want to talk about interesting things, if we go back to Monday last week where we reviewed Marble Mountain by $2.20 in episode 482, um, it said in the description on that map that he based it on another map, which is the one we're reviewing today. I did say we'd have a look at it, and today we're going to do just that. They are vastly different maps from each other, so um, there's not really, it's not like an upgrade map, so I'm, I'm quite happy to do this one. But before we do that, it's time to waggle them fingers. I want to see them waggling, please. And that's right, waggling your finger onto the like button really does help to support the channel. I thank you very much for the effort that you've just taken, and let's crack on and do this map review, shall we? Right, it's Emerson Island by Apple. Now, we have done Apple in the past. They've produced some very, very nice work indeed. Today's one's a little bit different and constructed completely differently from normal. It's a little bit dark to start square. I'm sorry about that. That is an error on my behalf and not the only one I've made today with settings errors. Sorry. Uh, resources look just like this. They're fine and certainly accessible for the new industries DLC. Uh, what do we need off the workshop? Just a couple of trees. Uh, it does say here that um, it's basically a terrain party map with a raised sea level to uh, just where the mountains are. So that's a very clever thing too. As for the LUT use today, I'm sorry I haven't got a clue. I failed you. I should have used Realistic 1.2, but I probably haven't. Oops. Let's ignore that by going straight off to Assetville, shall we? <laughs> And today's asset is uh, good and it's a really nice one. Well, what do you expect from Lord Granny? It's the Urban Park B2. Now, for me, it's not a park. Uh, clearly not a park. It's uh, clearly just called park and that's fine. It's a modern building. It's a modern, um, yeah, it's a modern building. There's another one as well. I think it's Urban Park B1. I think it's a larger building, that one. I can't remember. But this one itself, that's what we're looking at today. That is very nice. It's going to look really good in Asset World when I plop it down there this coming weekend. So join me for that one. There's also an Asset World from last week with all last week's assets up on, on the channel now. Do go and have a look at that one. And we've also got some assets from September 2017. Uh, it's really interesting. But anyway, that's enough about that. That's a little final nod to Urban Park B2 by Lord Granny. Today's asset of the day and a rather nice one too. Thanks, Lord Granny. You're a gentleman. <laughs> Let's head off to Themington Island for this week's theme and LUT combo. Now it's San Minato by Mark Fire with the Cold Embrace LUT. Now this was suggested in the comments by Spaceman Nick and I do listen. And uh, if you've got any suggestions, feel free to um, stick them in the comments. And if you've got a preferred theme and LUT combo, I might I'll give it a bit of a run, shall I? We've already got one on the suggested list. Thank you very much, Zosso, for doing that. And we will um, we'll have a look at that next week. But yeah, stick yours in the waiting list and we will get around to doing them. Right, factoids, because factoids. How about we do something animals this week? We all love animals, don't we? <laughs> the Incans were the first recorded people to have kept guinea pigs as pets. Which kind of makes sense because they are native to that kind of area, I guess. Um, and the sledge... A sledge pulled by 10 dogs can travel at around 19 kilometers an hour, which is about 12 miles an hour in modern money. Okay, <laughs> oh, that's old money, isn't it, really? Anyway, that's it from now. Let's head on over to Emerson Island for a historical bonbon. Hi, bonbon. Right, so Emerson Isle by Apple. We are going to start off with the shipping routes because we've got a very interesting one today. Uh, we've got an island. Basically, the whole map is an island. We follow this dead-end shipping route down this way, 
we will get to where the fog would be if we had the fog switched on, which we don't today because we do need to kind of see to the edge of the map. This comes around, then we get to the old sharp angle turning here. So any ships coming in from the edge of the map are going to have to do a very sharp turn right to get off that way or left to get back out. That said, we are exceptionally close to the edge of the map and this would be normally clouded in fog. So I'm going to let that one go. We then go inland a little bit and head in towards, you can see we've got these river mouse, etc. We have a right turn, sorry, right turn. We have a right turn here, <laughs> or a left turn if we're coming from this direction here, which is right angular. And um, that is definitely within view of wherever your docks are going to be if you're going to be working with this as Docklands. And this is the main city build area, so I imagine this is going to be quite busy for shipping, especially given that there are no road or rail connections. Therefore, this is basically your main arterial route. Worse still, let's say you don't want to have your ship, your, your main docks here, right? Okay, we're going to take a left and we're going to go around this way. Okay, we cut through this little gap here, through here, down off towards the edge again, around this way, off towards the edge of the fog again, all the way around the side of the island. So you can access all of the island. This is great. This is good planning. Uh, around here and off towards the back end of the island and right into the edge fog again around the outside of that and along the back of the island we've got a link in towards here which means you can get your docks in these kind of areas well, let's guess that's good and then we'll carry on and around until we get to here where it dead ends and then if we go to the edge fog and follow around the edge of the island here we get back around to where we started so we have one shipping route going around the island and only one connection. So all your shipping is going to be coming in and out of this point, which is going to lead to a lot of shipping on this particular... I don't know. I don't know if I'm... I, am I being too picky? Let me know if I'm being too picky. Let's have a look at the island as a whole then. So the map was part of a terrain party grab of Arizona. Uh, the water level has been risen to cover the desert, which means what we've got is a very creative map actually. Looks a little bit like the Falklands, a um, little bit, <laughs> very vaguely in my mind. Um, or if this way up it doesn't so much, unless you're looking up from Antarctica. Right, anyway, where were we? Let's have a look around. So this is your build plane. Now some of you are going to really like today's map. And some of you are not going to like it at all. I think it's a really good natural map. Um, just have a look around here. Just have a look and see what the terrain lines are like. Oh, quite hilly. It's quite hilly. It looks moderately flat. I guess compared to the mountains, this is relatively flat. But my goodness, these are sloped. So if we were to, let's say we're going to build on this peninsula here. I think that's a good place to build let's grab the terrain tool shall we grab the terrain tool I think we possibly should and then we're going to level to the terrain at say we want to come a few meters above water level say about here what do you think about there brush size a bit larger so it's not going to take us all day and we'll come up here and we're just going to level that terrain out there and it actually doesn't work too badly I was a bit concerned that that would be more of an issue there. So yeah, it just kind of works around here. Let's come over this side and do a similar sort of job over here. Um, do you know what? It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be in terms of where you get to the edge of your build plane and then you, know, you can build to your next tier up there. It's not so bad. Not too bad at all. Let's put everything back as we found it, I think. Um, have we got everything back as we found it? We have now. Okay, and back to that. Let's get rid of the terrain lines. Boom. Lovely done. Right. So, that is the, uh, the build planes. Definitely usable. I thought they would be a lot worse than that. Um, we've got some ever interesting river systems. Before we do that, let's have a look at the mountains. The mountains, rugged, like in these, obviously from terrain party. Good tree detailing. I'm buying into the tree detailing up here 
I've seen better, but I've, uh, I can't really grumble too much about this. This is quite nice. This is quite nice indeed. And then, uh, what have we got? We've got the build planes around here as well. So we've got plenty of options. Plenty of options. Island map, um, but it, in terms of an island map, it's big. I mean, it fills virtually the entire, well, almost the entire 81 tiles. Oh, we've got an island over here. Is this a Bonbon Island? Um, potentially, I think it's a bit... Oh, hello, we've got some drowned trees. No, 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 no. I can't have a Bonbon Island with drowned trees. I'd have to go out there and uproot them. Uh, we've also got some drowned trees in this little area over here. These are some completely submerged under there. And this little uh, little cove here as well. Drowned Tree Cove. <laughs> and that's named my next map. <laughs> oh, we've got some trees right on top of the hill here. Actually, I don't mind those. I know a few of you are going to go, Ah, but you don't like trees on top of hills like that. Don't mind if I buy into them. Um, I kind of buy into them. I'm not so sure about this one tree in the middle of the screen here being there. But um, this, this guy here looks okay to me. I don't know. Each individual tree on its own merit. I think this entire area here has been kind of like forgotten about when the tree detailing was done. And we've been tree brushed and maybe adjusted the water level a little bit and forgotten to go back and check for trees. But there we are. Let's have one last look at something and that is the water flow. Because we've got to have a water flow, haven't we? Right, uh, water, boom, boom, right, we're in. Let's have a... Uh, oh, no, I need to leave that on. Ha! Sorry about that. Okay, so what have we got? We've got fairly static water um, around the bay area, which is where I think our main city build is going to be. I think this is just start square down here. We have got water motion here coming down from the river, which is basically all we can ask. So that's going to push out the sewage into this kind of area. I guess that's just about enough. That's just about the minimum. But that's not the most interesting thing with the water flow. Let me show you, there's another river here. This one here. Now, admittedly, it's a very light flow river. Very, very light flow. And there is a source for that. If we follow up here, we've got um, this lake. This lake is one of the most interesting lakes I have come across in what map ever. But before we have a look at the map, that the map, at the lake, we got a water flow coming off here. Tree ah, now, I, I'm going to forgive Apple. When I came back and looked at this earlier, that this was completely dry, this bit of river. It just looks like it's struggling to fulfill its uh, flow potential here. I am, um, yeah, just a little bit. I think we could do a little bit of terraforming here just to help the water get rolling. I'm not going to do it because I want to show you this. Now, this does have a water source. Obviously, it has a water source. And the water source is in this area here. In fact, you can probably see the water motion yeah, being pushed away. Let me show you, though, when we go into a blue mode. Here we go, blue mode. Look at this. So we've got the water source here. And the water is literally flowing in a circle around this island. That, for me, is a first. Admittedly, it was a much stronger circle before this started breaking these banks here. And um, but my goodness, I was I was like, so where's all the water going? <laughs> I had all this water being produced here, obviously filling the lake to the lake level um, that was required for it to overflow. But is this getting stronger? I'm not so sure. Let me just put on high speed mode. See if we can get. Yeah, the lake is now filling up. I think. And we are starting to flow. So that's the only problem with that is when you launch the map, it takes a little bit of a while to breach its banks. I still think, I still, actually, I'm going to have a go at this. I am going to have a little tweak with this. We grab this and we'll grab just a little bit lower, say about there, make the brush size a little bit smaller. And we'll do a little bit of this. See if we can't encourage the... Uh, water to flush out a little bit more there we are right so i think we're now getting more of a river going down there 
I would increase the bank over here a little bit just to encourage the water around this way. Shall we do it? <laughs> While we're here, I guess we should. Right, uh, we don't want it too strong. In fact, what we can do is we can just grab the that level there, I suggest. And then we'll just give it a little bit of a push off that way. And I think we probably have an operational river now. That's much better. I'm probably drowning a few trees. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty close, actually. It's pretty close to what we're wanting. So, yeah, I think basically a little bit of terraforming, if you're going to take on this map, at that spot there will get you a nice river running. And uh, maybe, maybe that's going to change that water flow. Let's have a quick look at the... No, we're still go looping around. That's okay. I don't care. That's okay. <laughs> it just looked a bit different. Right, shall we find a spot for settling down and marking this map? So, aesthetically, I think... This isn't a bad looking map, all things considered. I think it's a very creative use of Terrain Party, where we are taking a mountainous area and just raising the water up to create an island within the mountains, but also an island with enough buildable plain. That is inspired. Um, aesthetically, it kind of looks a bit vanilla, a little bit, but I still think it's worth, just worth a fourth star. Detailing. Detailing is not too bad. I don't mind the tree placement. There's not too much to say really on detailing. Uh, we do have some drowned trees and because there's not that much to say and we do have an error or two, I've got to give it just the three stars. So three stars for uh, detail. For gameplay potential, I think a few of you are going to really like this map. For me, I'm got a few concerns regarding the amount of shipping traffic that's going to be coming in and out just from the one route um, so for me that is a bit of an issue and uh, of course a few of you would like uh, a little bit of infrastructure but that said I still think it's uh, I still think it's a playable map I think it's got a lot of fun in this one and I'm going to give it four stars for gameplay so there you go Emerson Isle uh, Emerson Island sorry by Apple and uh, it's interesting I quite like that but enough about today's map, let's talk about Patreon. <laughs> it's not too late to join Patreon and get your name on the list for December. So yeah, just a dollar a month will get your name on the credits. Thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, there's an old map on screen now you can go and have a look at from over a year ago. And why not have a look at map making, uh, my show where I'm putting together a map. It's, oh, it should be released in about a week, just in time for the 500th episode. Now I wonder, is that coincidence? Hmm. See you tomorrow, guys.